Brothers Repsol coming to you. I know we've been uploading uh, short videos of late. They seem to be doing really good. You guys, I appreciate everybody watching those videos. We appreciate you guys watching those videos. So please comment, subscribe, like, and everybody that subscribes to Brothers Repsol, Brothers Repsol is going to subscribe to you. So please subscribe. It's easy. Just click of a button. I uh, thought I'd show y'all some updates, or up, not really upgrades, just uh, add-ons that I've put on my motorcycle. Um, started with the axle nut covers. I got the Willy Skull axle nut covers. Put those on. It's been a while. I don't know. I may have pointed those out to you guys. Uh, today I installed, took off the 114 derby cover and put the Willie G's derby cover on. I think that looks really good. Lot, lots better. I uh, plan on getting the Willie's horn cover eventually. Upgraded the shifter linkage rod. That's from Amazon actually. What? Like 20 bucks. Harley makes one looks very similar. The Harley one has the Harley emblem there in the middle. But it's but it's seventy dollars. Grip, grips loads of more money. Yeah, it's like seventy bucks. Uh, put the uh, Bad Boy Cycles bag bars on. These are the same diameter as the engine guard. These are, like I said, Bad Boy Cycles. Um, they were three two ninety nine, three hundred bucks. Shipping, I think, came out to like 314 something like that. I did find a 10% discount code, but it leaves me where I got that discount code. Apologies. Uh, the wife wanted a backrest for when she rides the motorcycle. This is the 22 inch backrest, and I don't know the brand name of it. This is an Amazon special, but it's got the nice shield looking back here on the back. Decent little pad. This is, like I said, a 22 inch. That and the hardware did not come with these covers. I, I purchased these covers separately. Um, it came with the mounting hardware, 200 bucks from Amazon. And then I put the 50 cal antenna on that's $49.99 from Harley. Um, the covers I got from eBay and they were $19 shipped, so not too bad. And they do a nice job of finishing it. Yeah, it, I mean, with, without these on here, <coughs> let me pull them back off. It looks like one of the magnets is come loose from inside, but it'll still hold it. But without those covers, I mean, it just looks unfinished to me. But simple, just magnetic covers. Oh man, it just puts it back to a finished look, in my opinion. Of course, you guys know I've got the Vance and Hines high output with no baffles. Still got the cats, just no baffles. Um, and I also found on Facebook Market a heavy breather that came off of a 2023 uh, Road Glide ST, I believe. Uh, it's got the 117 badge on it. It's really why I wanted to change the derby cover from the 114. This is not a 117, this is a 114. If I could find the Screaming Eagle badge that would cover this or take this off and put a screaming eagle one on i would do that but at this point in time unless you guys know where i can get that hit me up in the comments send us an email brothersrepsol at gmail.com blow it up uh let us know where we can get that that would be amazing uh i got of course you guys know that i did have the adversary grips if you watch the videos, I had those and I didn't really like them. They were kind of fat to grip for me and they seemed shorter. But I do like the 
the new uh, the new grips that I've got, and these are just like my brother's grips that he's got on his bike. Yeah. Uh, and he found, lucky him, found a heavy breather like this. But guess what? It's the Screaming Eagle one. He got the Screaming Eagle. So if you guys could find out where I could get the Screaming Eagle plate, I would put that on. Or should I leave it 117 to be different from him? Tell us in the comments. Let us know. Uh, if there's something you want to see, hit us up in the comments. Uh, I like doing the short videos. It's easy. Uh, when I see something that I think you guys might want to watch or see, I'll shoot a quick video of it and upload it. And so far, the response has been really, really good. That's why I kind of stopped making or we stopped making longer videos. Not saying we are not going to do that. As you can see, we are still making longer videos. Um, I have toyed with putting some 14 inch bars on to get them up a little higher. I do like the placement of the stock mirrors. I really like the placement of that. I like the uh, back wing layout with the mirrors, speakers, and the gauges and the infotainment center all right here. It's like, I just love it. And I would hate to have to move the mirrors, so it's not that I don't hate the bars that are on the bike. I like them, but I think 14s would look so much better, especially when I'm running that 22 inch backrest. So let me know let us know what what you want to see oh almost forgot don't forget we added the flush mount gas cap to the bike and that's really everything so far i haven't done any performance work yet um i would like to put the 475 cam in it but that's expensive just like the bars are expensive but uh yeah, none of this was sponsored, so. Oh yeah, I got, I had, we came out of pocket for everything you're seeing. I would like to put the Olin rear shocks with the relocated reservoirs on the back. That would be awesome. But that, bars, everything's pricey, so. But uh, let us know. Like I said, comment, subscribe, please. You subscribe, we'll subscribe. I know this video is getting a little lengthy, so I'm going to end it. Thank you guys from Brothers Repsol. Appreciate it. each and every one of you guys. See you again.